hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel i am benny and i'm going to be your host on this amazing journey into my first youtube vlog now in today's video we're going to be going over some basic tips for some basic shaping of nails we'll be covering coughing which is also known as the baronina shape almond round stiletto and the beautiful tapered square can i just say that tapered square is like my amazing and most best shape for nails so i'll be going into details on each nail style so if you're interested in nailing any of these shapes stay tuned <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So the first thing you want to do is sanitize and clean your client's nails. Now I've already done this off camera, so make sure you do not miss this step. It's for the safety of both you and your clients. Now that this has been done, it is time to prep your client's nails. So the first thing you want to do is push back your client's cuticles. This is to remove any dead dry skin around the nail bead area. This is to ensure that when you're applying your acrylic, your poly gel, your dipping kit, or whatever medium you choose to use, the nails will not lift because it can definitely cause lifting. I'm doing this in real time to show you guys how long it takes. Alright, after I have pushed back our cuticles, I use the opposite end of my manicure stick or if you are using a cuticle pusher, you can always use the opposite end to scrape out any dead dry skin around the nail plate. I'm gonna do this a little out of time. Then you go in with your flaming bead. Make sure that you're using a low setting on your e-file and what you want to do is lightly get close to the side walls of your client's nails just to further get off any dead skin around the nail bead area. I'd really love to show you guys how it works but there was no light at that moment. Next step is to remove the shine from our natural nails and this can be done either with a medium grip sanding band or a hand file. If you're using a sanding band, you make sure you use a low speed setting on your e-file. What you're gonna do is just lightly kiss the top of your client's nails to get rid of the natural shine. If you're using a hand file, you make sure that you're using a file that has a 100 slash 180 grit. You're to use the 180 grit to lightly kiss the top of your client's nails to get rid of the natural shine. And I go ahead and do this for the rest of the nails. Once you're done, you dust off those nails so you can have a clean surface to work with. The next step is to size her nail tips. You want to make sure that the nails fit perfectly from side wall to side walls. It must not be too big or too small. It has to be the perfect shape. Once you've picked out the sizes, you get some glue and add some to the edge of the nail and then you stick it to the nails. The first nail shape we're going to be covering is the coffin shape, which is also known as the Berlina shape. So for this nail shape, you want to visualize how long you want the nails to be and then you cut a little longer. This is because when you're filing the nails, they become shorter. I like to take out the corners of the nails. However, this part isn't really necessary. I just like to do it to save filing time. And if you're taking out the corners of the nails, you make sure that you're cutting at an angle and not just straight down. As you can see, the nail isn't perfect yet, but with the help of the hand file, we'll be able to get that beautiful, perfect shape. After cutting the corners, you want to slightly angle your file inward while moving from side to side. 
This helps to prevent you from overfiling one side and then the nails end up looking crooked. I'm just going to speed this up. Lastly, you outline the edge of the nail by rocking your file straight at the bottom of the nails. Alright, this is how I shape my nails for a cuffing acrylic application. Would you rock these? The next nail shape is called the almond shape. As I have said earlier, you have to visualize how long you want the nails to be and cut a little longer. This is because when you're filing, the nails become shorter. Next, you take down the side of the nail, making sure to leave the center of the nail alone. Make sure that as you're cutting, you're cutting at an angle and not just straight down. I didn't quite cut enough, so I had to go in to take out some more. Next, you line your file from the side wall and then you file in an inward motion. You do this for both sides of the nail, little by little turning the nail into the perfect almond shape. Make sure you do not press into the side walls of the nails because this can cause problems later. It can cause lifting and that will be a problem for your acrylic application. Alright, this is how to shape your nails for an almond acrylic or poly gel application. So beautiful. Alright, the next shape we're going to be covering is the round shape. And I like to visualize how long I want the nails to be by running a line through the center of the nails. And then I just cut a little longer than what I want the end result to be. Then I take out the corners of the nails in an inward motion. It was at this point that I realized that my hands went off camera and I'm so sorry about that. Next, you lay your hand file by the side walls and file in an inward motion from the left to the right side of the nail. When I get to the middle of the nail, I lightly go from side to side in an inward motion just to crisping up that round edge. Also, when doing the round shape, you want to keep the edge of the nail as rounded as possible as opposed to an almond nail where the side is tapered and the end is round. Alright, this is how I achieve my round shape look. So the next shape I will be doing is the stiletto shape and I like to visualize what the stiletto would look like with my hands and then I cut right across my nose. But as I cut, I like to cut a little extra for me to play with and also because as you file the nail, it becomes shorter. Then I take out the corners of the nails and this is only going to be like one millimeter on each side. And as I cut, I make sure that I'm cutting at an angle and not just straight down. I like to take out the corners just to save filing time. As you can see, the nail isn't perfect yet, but with the help of the hand file, we'll be able to get that straight, pointy stiletto shape. So you line up the file from the side walls up to the middle point, and then when you're filing for a stiletto, you want to go back and forth from the left to the right, little by little turning it into shape. Now to attain the sharp point, which is actually the fun part, <laughs> you angle your file towards the middle point where you have your imaginary point and then you continue to lightly file both sides to get the desired sh sharp shape. Alright, this is the final look and it is very beautiful. You can see how pointy and sharp it is. Lastly, we have the tapered square. Now when trying to achieve the tapered square look, you don't have to take out the corners of the nails. You just line up your file from the side walls of her nails 
and then you're going to lightly bring it in at the bottom of the nails. You have to switch back and forth from the left to right. Now when doing this nail shape, you don't have to file too far inward. This will make your file go too much into an angle and this will make you go more into a coffin or a barrelina shape and we want to keep this as tapered as possible. Lastly, you outline the edge of the nails with your file. You don't have to bend the file at any of the corners, rather you rock your file straight under the nail by keeping your file parallel to the end of the nail. And this is how it looks. Okay guys, so these are a few tips for five different shapes of nails. And this is the final look of the nails. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on your notification bell. Also like this video, share and leave a comment. Bye!